Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bakka and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces, I'll play the Karukan defense which starts with c6 followed by d5. Can develop the lights for bishop first to f5 and then play pawn to e6. Important to take out the bishop before closing the diagonal and creating a pawn chain. Otherwise the bishop is never out of it. And if opponent offers bishop, just bring it back so that you can defend with the pawn. Open up the h file for the attack so that you can attack as well later on. I can develop the dark square bishop, offering him exchange as well, which opponent takes. I take with the queen. Knight is developed now. Can develop the other knight as well. Um, asking him to take if he really wants to. He can take the bishop or the knight. Takes. I uh, can take with queen or the knight. Taking with knight makes more sense because I can play a pawn break as well. Then in the center maybe. Offering bishop exchange again. Let's play pawn forward. Keeping castling options available on both the sides. And takes. I can take with the knight. Attacking the bishop twice now with my bishop and the knight. So that now the opponent has to take. And I'll take with the pawn still. The idea being simple of getting the pieces lined up. Now knight can come here and give a check as well. Okay, let's, let's wait for a second. Knight here, he comes up. I can take this pawn. Then he comes here. And I'm kind of stuck with my knight there. So before doing anything like that, I need to castle first. Making sure that I have rooks uh, connected so that there's no problem happening. Now we can go with the knight either here or there. So he saves it for the moment. We've got a better plan. We'll go with here and then trying to go on f3. And that would be sticking very well to him. Okay, we can line up our pieces as well. Yep, I think I'll play h4 now maybe, yes, and I can push pawn forward, I can, no harm even if he takes, he doesn't, I'll take here, just trying to break through his defenses there. If I push it ahead then he takes, I take and he cannot take back is the idea so far. Check, he has to move back now maybe and then he loses the knight so he resigns. A pretty quick game I would say, uh, yes it was indeed 20 moves. Let's analyze the game and see what went wrong for the oven actually and probably we did uh, play many good moves here. Started off with d4, c6 by me. Opponent plays and bishop on f4. Generally, yes, if you, you can play queen to b6 because as soon as the bishop gets out of the pawn chain, you are weakening up your bishop, uh, uh, weakening up the pawn on b2 rather. So that is undefended now. And that's why queen to b6 makes sense at times. 
even if opponent tries to develop the knight, you uh, should generally avoid taking this. The thing is, after you take, opponent gets to have a good development, and that's all you could take there. And everything else is defended, plus you have moved a couple of queen moves. Rather, opponent has developed uh, three of the minor pieces, which is very helpful. So try avoiding taking that pawn. Let's go back in the game where opponent played uh, after I played d5 going for the center. Opponent develops the knight on f3. I play bishop f5. Important as I said mentioned in the game as well that to take out the bishop out of the pawn pyramid. I would say here uh, that we played it in the center. Otherwise the light square bishop remains inside forever. Uh, now opponent develops the dark light square bishop as well. We, we bring it back with the idea of opening up the h file if he takes. He doesn't castle rather. We try to exchange dark square bishop there. He plays c3. We reply with knight to f6. Just a normal development move. Opponent comes in with the knight on e5. We try to exchange that. He does exchange as well. Uh, yes, I can take with both the pieces. Computer is also like changing it. Uh, but I took with the knight, um, and then when she lines up, uh, I just tried to force a pawn break in the center by playing e e5. He captures now the pawn, uh, and I take back with the knight with the idea of this can defend uh, the bishop as well. And now it's a bishop force take. There's no other option for the opponent. He decides to take. I can take with the queen or the h file. I always like taking with the h pawn so that files get opened up. Uh, opponent still doesn't play f4, which was pretty nice move, trying to develop the pawns as well with tempo, attacking my knight, also closing the diagonal for my queen. But rather, opponent plays g3, which is losing and on the spot. Uh, threats were a lot there. Uh, yes, I, I considered going with knight over here, but then I thought, once he comes up, what's the follow-up move from here? And I was thinking that... Um, I can't take the pawn here with the rook. So I was just considering this and this lose on the spot because after uh, rook comes here, uh, I am losing my uh, knight there. I cannot defend my knight. So that's uh, what I saw in the game. And of course, uh, so uh, computer suggesting rather to go on g4. And now, if opponent has to save, he has to just move the pawn itself. No other option. And pawn can only come here. And computer saying, oh, you can take on with the rook as well, sacrificing him. Because this, of course, leads to checkmate. Uh, so you can definitely take on that pawn. And after queen moves somewhere, you can either bring back your rook or save the knight. So saving the knight by f5 but this is more complicated stuff i went with basic uh which is pretty much understandable uh, just casting on the queen side first making sure my king is safe my rooks are connected and then i can go with my knight opponent sees the threat of now that the knight can come over here or here uh, both the places are pretty strong attacking the pawn and rooks will be lined up he tries to you know, bring the king up and then maybe defend with the rook. But I went with queen first to f6 with the idea of giving a check from uh, f3. And that's what he defends with by moving his queen there. Uh, I try to just double up the rooks. He tries to get the knight. I double up. And instead of defending with the rook there, he moved the pawn forward. Again, computer saying you can take on the pawn with the rook, but I don't like to... to play uh, that aggressive for now. I don't want to spoil things. He still doesn't play uh, f5, f4. Uh, that would have still saved him the game. But rather he played uh, h4 this time. I take on the, with the pawn. He gets the knight uh, on f3. And then I just played the best move in the situation because after I play the pawn forward, uh, he has to move somewhere, his king. And either of them loses big time. I can take with the knight as well. Knight is defended. So nothing goes wrong. And it's uh, forcing him to lose the queen as well. There's no other move to save the, uh, the knight there. And that's probably going to be made pretty quick. Uh, yes, rook can come here. I can take the pawn. 
it's going down uh, just pushing my pawn forward maybe if rook up i can still take because after he takes i can just get a queen uh he takes maybe with the rook and then i have got two rooks versus nothing so this can end up very quickly from there as soon as he saw that his piece is going uh, for a toss he resigns uh and that was probably the best he could have saved uh, his time and mine both so i i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback i enjoyed it uh, do like it on youtube as well uh, do share and do share and put up comments as well i uh, let me know if something needs to be covered in, as a trap or an opening that you want me to um thank you so much for your time take care bye bye